everyone, Travis here. Welcome to Travis Trading Daily. If you were thinking about buy the dip of Chinese stocks, forget about BABA. Actually, in my opinion, there is a better opportunity than BABA. That's the private education giant New Oriental Education in China. New Oriental Education stock price has plunged more than 90% this year. Now it's trading at just around $2 per share. In order to see whether it could or how it can go back to the peak price of around $20 trading, just about six months this year, I will need to see why the stock has sunk so much during the past few months. China's latest policy targeting the after-school tutoring services has really been hurting uh, New Oriental Education's business. In July, the new policy, which can be called the Beijing Mirrors, uh, contains a few of the following provisions. The first one is no new provider of after-school tutoring services on academic subjects in China's compulsory education system is allowed and will be approved. Well, even the existing academic ASD providers will be subject to review and re-register -reg their business. So it's a question mark whether their existing schools, their existing business can continue. And before re-register and acquire the lessons, all the existing schools were illegal to operate their current business. And the second one is after school tutoring providers are strictly prohibiting from providing academic ASD during any national holiday, weekends, winter, and summer break. There are further res restrictions on when academic ASD can be offered during weekdays. So there is a statistic that in the uh, in the weekend, all the um, the the tutoring is taking up to 30 to 40 percent of their uh, after school tutoring business, the whole business. And if you in also include the holiday, winter, and summer breaks, that that size of the business takes up to 7 to 80 percent. So if you like don't allow the, the, the AST services providing at those time, of course, the business will shrink up to 70 to 80%. And the third one is academic AST providers are prohibited from offering classes over content outside of or uh, in advance of the school curriculum. So basically, basically means all the AST services cannot give the students advantages over the other students who did not attend this AST schools. And the fourth one is prices for academic AST will need to follow the guidelines from the government to prevent any excessive charging or excessive profit seeking activity. This is also huge. Uh, this basically meaning the, the price ability has been removed from the, the, the providers and now is in the hand of the government. That, that means even the remaining about the 20 to 30 after school tutoring classes, they can't even be Consider to make that portion of profitability. And the, the fifth is academic ASD providers are prohibited from financing by way of listing its securities or conducting other capital market activities. Um, so this basically means the money raised by issuing new public trading shares, basically the stocks, is not allowed to be used for expanding its ASD business. And finally, Enchanting oversight of ASD advertising basically means uh, there shall be no more ad advertising from the providers to the parents of the students to say, hey, you come to our ASD classes and your, your child will get better results than everyone else. And based on the financial report, after school service for K-12 tutoring is taking up to 80 to 90% of the whole revenue of companies like New Oriental Education. and because of the, the new policy that up to 70 to 80 of the existing K-12 tutoring business is in jeopardy. So that's the reason why the stock was has been sunk so much during the past few months, up to 90%. Okay, those are the bad news for the business. I mean, it's not necessarily bad for the students and the parents in China. It's, it was bad for the business, but here are the good news. Actually, the demand for academic study is still there. China is unlike the US's uh, application-based college entrance criteria. That doesn't really work for, for now for China because of many reasons. And the whole nation's college entrance examination is very critical for a common person in China, for their, their kids. For average China's families, it is a 
good chance to get into a good college to like change their lives and for their family to get to a better living condition in the future by learning science and other academic courses. And it is not realistic to remove all the after school tutoring. And actually on September the 1st, a wet list is issued by Beijing government for its 12 districts that allow the first batch of schools to resume their after school tutoring business. I think the policies are still fast changing. I'm not sure what the policy will be looking like in the future, but if you're interested, consider to subscribe this channel. We'll have a follow up videos talking about this. So basically the most important thing is the market and the need is still there. And the second one is education giants companies like New Oriental Education and others, they're actually transitioning to do other business like what they call the quality oriented education. That's a relative subject to China's like examination oriented education, which means they, they will offer and they have already been offering the art courses, the sport courses and other science related courses. And that's that's encouraged by the China's government for uh, children to be enrolled in and to like really develop all kinds of abilities of themselves. And this business has serious potential and th this can potentially recover some of its loss of revenue, of its loss of business in the future. The third one is uh, English education and English for international study will recover. We, we all know the like the pandemic has jeopardized the, the uh, inter international study for schools like New Oriental Education and others. One of their core business is English language and other main international language study and also the international study consulting. But now because of the pandemic and the current situation, this business has already has also shrunk so much. But if you're like optimistic towards the future, I feel this business will also recover. Especially if you think about China and US relationship, you're, if you're optimistic as I am, um, I think I, I think the like the interactions between these two countries, the overseas study students from these two countries, especially from China to the US, will resume to a higher level than what it, it is now. The fourth good news is New Oriental Education actually has a lot of cash at hand. If you look at the balance sheet as of February 28th, 2021, as they show in their financial report, New Oriental had a cash and cash equities of about 1.6 billion US dollars. Currently, the uh, market value of New Oriental education is about 3.6, 3.8 uh, billion US dollars. And you, you can see they almost have half of their market value simply because they're of their cash in the hand. And also Morgan Stanley is bullish to New Oriental Education's shares and they upgraded New Oriental to overweight and predicted the price target to 3.5 US dollars. I know that's not as, as much as it used to be the 19, almost the 20 dollars, but that, that's a good start. The company has already launched the courses in art and speech as I just mentioned and also in science and other what they call the quality and oriented education courses and is now recruiting teachers from all the nations. Hey, that means they're transitioning. They're not giving up hope. Education is just this so important for a nation. I think the policy is targeting specific things like here this time is the K-12 after school tutoring because they want to remove some of the burdens for the students as well as their parents. But there's always gonna be like education opportunities in the, the bigger picture. And those are the areas companies like New Oriented Education is exploring. And that's the future we're looking for if you're holding their stock. And of course, higher return comes with higher volatility. If you're considering to invest in the stock, it takes that as your own risk. All right, that wraps up everything for today. If you're interested in Chinese stocks and you're interested in following up with the New Oriental Education stock, consider to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.